In this video, we're going to show you how to use Gig Prospector and search for the best gigs on Fiverr very, very quickly and be able to narrow down exactly who you want to get for, to you know, do your gigs and so you can outsource your products. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open Gig Prospector up here. And uh, go ahead and I've already got it open up. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in a keyword. So, for example, if I was wanting to do short stories for Kindle, let me go ahead and open this up in a larger screen, okay? So, for example, we're going to start out. I open software up, and I, say, for example, I want to open. I want to look for short, for short stories, right? So I type in short, short stories. I hit search, right? Okay, this narrows it down to all the countries. If you can see here, you'll see Jamaica, United Kingdom, United States, and stuff like that. And from my experience, um, using U.S. writers is usually best. So the first thing I would usually do is go to the country, and I'll search for U.S people for US only so as you see uh, US only comes up so if for example if you need a quicker delivery time too so some of these might make, take 10 days 20 days or whatever you can you'll narrow down here at the software so let's just go 10 days here for the video right uh, positive reviews is none right now it's all opened up so what you do if you really want somebody that's good at writing I would definitely go down and hit 100 percent positive right cool thing about gig prospector as well as you can see how many thumbs up they have right here and uh, that really gives you an indication that they, you know, they do decent work. So I've got narrowed down to 100%. So that rating 100%, that's very, very good. But the cool thing else is about Gig Prospector is uh, create short stories. Create short stories, 400 words, so forth and so on. Let's just say, for example, I want to put 1,000 words. I want 1,000 words, right? I'll put 1,000 in there, and I can really narrow it down. Come back. Once you do this and start a new search, guys, it, it'll go back to a default country. Uh, to all the default countries, and you'll have to go back and hit the United States again. So I found two. Write a 1,000 word short story for five bucks. Create a uh, word or fiction or fact 1,000 word limit, right? They have 100% feedback and they're from the United States. Now this is very effective and very quick for searching because we all know when you go to Fiverr.com it can take a while to uh, you know start searching around for these things. You, you can't just narrow down by the country. There's not, a, there's not a tab there that you can actually uh, you know, narrow this stuff down and go by 100% and so forth and see all these results in one screen, okay? So this is very, very effective uh, for my uh, searches and stuff on with Gig Prospect when you want to use Fiverr for outsourcing. So um, we want to do a Kindle cover, right? Okay, you type in Kindle cover and you can pretty well just narrow down what you want, guys, just by searching in here. Uh, I go search and you can also, and here's what I like about this too, is you also go to uh, writing and translation and you can narrow down that category. And if you really, really, really want to narrow down, you can go into narrow it down to another category, right? So you can actually find people to proofread and edit your stuff too. Reviews. There's a lot of different things you can do in here. But I'm gonna go in writing and translation. And just go to that one, right? So we're in the default of all the countries right now. Uh, less than 10 days. I want to hit the United States, right? Okay. So I hit United States. Kindle cover, the best people here are right at your fingertip, guys. Look, 2,500, over 2,500 people, it's like this. You know these guys do a very, very good work, or they wouldn't have this type of feedback. And like I said, you guys know from your experience going to Fiverr.com, it could take a while to find this type of information. What Gig Prospector does for you is actually gives you these results right in front of you, right straight out in front of you. There's no guesswork or anything like that. So you see, they, these I, I went to 100% right here. Uh, less than 10 days and I'm doing the United States. Let's, for example, we wanted to uh, go for 90%, right? Feedback, at the minimum of 90%. It could be anywhere from 90 to 100, right? So just 100 right here. But it defaults when you change you guys, it defaults, so you have to go back and change it to the United States. So be aware of that. Uh, there you go, 90% positive reviews. Uh, perfect. If you want to go to some this right here, positive ratings, you can see where they have so many positive ratings, right? 100 times, they have over 100 times. So. Let's so say, for example, we wanted somebody with a thousand times, right? At least a thousand times uh, positive ratings, right? So check that out. So you can really do a lot with the keyword, uh, the gig, or gig prospector guys, and using your targeted keywords uh, in here. And you might, for example, I did short stories a while ago. I might also type in uh, uh, Kindle stories or something like that, and try two or three different ways about this. But be sure, be sure, be sure to use the sorting options because that's very, very powerful, guys. Uh, for searching on Fiverr using our software because this could save you just like hours a day So I, I could spend maybe three or four hours trying to find two or three writers and with this this I could Possibly find them and I usually do within 20 or 30 minutes and I can contact them and so forth So you can go here and click on This person and it'll pull up right so that's really cool you can pull up and you need to go contact them contact them right here 
uh, and then to go from there. Ask them. So, for example, I might say something like, "Is this original content? It won't be shared anywhere. Uh, I'll have all rights to the materials and so forth." Right? Because what I do too, when I see people that actually says, "Well, I'll give you the, the rights to it right here for five more bucks," I usually don't fool with them. Uh, but I want to be sure before I hire them that this that they'll do it and give me the book for you know. Because I might pay them. I might do extra work if, if this person's doing. Uh, for example, if he's writing a book for me, for example, then I might pay them an extra 20 bucks or something to write. For 500 words, I pay them another 20 bucks and get 2,500 words. So always ask people first, okay? But that's the power of uh, Gig Prospector, guys. Uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed this and use Gig Prospector because it's great software. Save you a whole lot of time when you're using Fiverr. And, you know, most people these days are using Fiverr for something or another. You're having graphics done, maybe they're needing likes on Facebook or, you know, reviews for their Kindle book. You know, use Fiverr for a lot of things. I use it a lot myself for finding people to uh, write me plots out and stuff like that for books, making book covers. I have uh, box covers made for info products. I have a lot of different things, like grab some small graphics jobs done that I want done. So I use Fiverr a lot, and it saves me a whole lot of time. Thanks, everyone, for uh, checking out my video, and we'll talk to you soon.